Well, praise the Lord, everybody. Blessings to you. How are you doing, friends? Give me some hearts and likes, and I want you to share, share. Praise God. Do share, because I'm going to go into this loaded word. I'm so excited to be with you today. Uh, it's been a wonderful, incredible time. I hope you've been having wonderful family times uh, during this Thanksgiving season. And of course, tomorrow, we're about to transition to December. But today, I want to give you a prophetic word. Uh, for the month of December and I want to talk to you about what you can expect in this upcoming month this is going to be an incredible month changes in the air there's revival in the air I'm not sure if you can feel it or sense it or expect it but there's something wonderful happening well blessings to you friends listen yesterday we had a wonderful zoom webinar and first and foremost uh, yesterday we talked about the seer realm because right now we are in the season of what? Hanukkah. And literally Hanukkah is one of my favorite times of the whole year because it really is a powerful story of triumph and victory. Someone say victory. And it really is a time where light overcomes darkness, uh, where the hidden things are revealed, where uh, there's exposure and revelation taking place. Can I get an amen? And of course, right now, uh, and of course, Thanksgiving, November, and even still today, we're in the Hebrew month of Kislev, but we are about to transition into the Hebrew month of Tevet. Some would say Tevet, okay? T-E-V-E-T. -E -E I'm super excited because I believe this month, December, will be a month to remember. However, I want to prophesy unto you that in this month of December or the Hebrew month Tevet, T-E-V-E-T, -E -E this is going to be a month where the goodness of God overwhelms you, where the goodness of the Lord overtakes your life. I know many of you, you've been going through some challenges, some difficulties and struggles. There's a lot of uh, financial hardships going on, even in this nation, but there's shifts and changes going on. Some say changes. And even as there's shifts and changes, God's about to launch you into the new year, 2022. And I don't know about you, but I'm super excited uh, to enter into 2022, amen. Uh, and uh, I'm super excited and I can't wait to release the prophetic word that I believe the Lord has given me for the new year. Amen. But once again, I want to thank you for logging on. And listen, all of you watching, I want to encourage you uh, to go and give a subscribe click onto this Bell and Public page. And also uh, do click on the little bell button to be notified whenever I do come on live. Of course, I come on live uh, quite frequently, uh, even when I'm on the road. So I would love uh, to be more connected with you in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And also, um, listen, we have a webinar in about a month's time. And Amanda or someone from our team, please do post it up. We do have a, another Zoom webinar. And I'm going to talk about in the next Zoom webinar about the infilling of the Holy Spirit. Okay. And for everybody, uh, you know, who clicks and uh, reserves today, logs on today, uh, you know, you will be given a super early discount code, okay? Uh, but uh, I, I want to invite you, uh, for you to join, and I want you to, uh, you know, be a part of this next webinar on December 20th uh, on the infilling of the Holy Spirit. You know, so many people, uh, first and foremost, don't know who the Holy Ghost is, do not have a relationship with the Holy Spirit, and not just that, uh, but they're not filled with the Holy Ghost. They're not filled with the Holy Spirit. And they're not, uh, you know, in, in the baptism, in the fire of God. And so there's going to be baptism of the fire, baptism of the Holy Ghost. It's going to be incredible. So uh, I just want to invite you to sign up for that. But I, I want you to sign up for that. Can I get an amen? All right. Well, listen, I'm going to go into the prophetic word of the month. All right. Uh, but uh, so go ahead and... Uh, I want to, uh, shakaratata, there it is, all right, there it is, pen to the top, all right, all right, well, praise God, listen, I'm going to go into this prophetic word, once again, do give some hearts, likes, and share, but uh, this Hebrew month is, we're about to enter into Tevet, someone say T-E-V-E-T, -E -E Tevet, and uh, of course, right now, we're still in Hanukkah season, and Hanukkah is a time where uh, the lampstands of God begin to burn bright. There's a new oil. There's a new anointing. There's a new grace. God begins to give you new vision. Increase your sphere of influence. And he begins to give you supernatural victory. And of course, it was during the time of Hanukkah 
where the Maccabees, the Jewish nation, took back the temple of God. And even now, uh, you know, we mourn the tragedy of, uh, you know, the attacks against, you know, some of the Jewish people that took place, I believe it was in New York, just a few days ago, and even in Wisconsin, uh, amongst, uh, you know, different civilians, uh, elders and children, such a horrific, hellacious, demonic attack. Uh, but this is the time where uh, exposure is taking place, and God is releasing a spirit of revelation. God is releasing a spirit of revelation, a new vision, and a new anointing is coming to you. But December will be a month to remember, but I declare and decree this month, the goodness of God will overtake you. Some say the goodness. His goodness will overtake you. Uh, Tevet comes from the original root word of Tov. Some say Tov. Okay, T-O-V. And Tov in Hebrew means good. That's where we're getting the prophetic revelation of the goodness of God. And let me tell you how God uh, is, has been so good in this month throughout history, okay? Uh, this was the good month where Esther was taken into the palace. Now, I know there's many Esthers watching now and maybe even Mordecai, not Mordecai's, but uh, there's many Esthers watching right now. But this Tevet month was the time where Esther came into the palace, are you ready to come into the palace? Okay, if God did it for Esther in this time, in the same month, then God can do it for you in the same time frame. God will do it again. He's the God where he will continue to take us from glory to glory. So this month, Tevet, was the month where Esther was brought into the palace to face the king. And I believe this is a time of favor and opportunity. Because Esther gained opportunity from the Lord. Some say opportunity. And I believe God is releasing Kairos moments of opportunity. Kairos moments of favor. There's opportune times opening up for you in the spirit realm. Some say opportunity. I remember, I believe last week I did a Facebook Live on making the most of every opportunity. Or in other translations of Ephesians, uh, the word of God says, redeeming the times. God is redeeming the times. Every lost and stolen idea, every lost and stolen relationship, He's redeeming your ministry, your anointing, the mental, the re relationships in your life. He's redeeming, restoring, and there's going to be restitution coming to you in the name of Jesus. So this was the month where Esther was brought into the palace. Some say, Jesus is bringing me into the palace. Can I get an amen? And also, Tevet is, the root word is known as Tov, okay? Uh, and also, in the same month, uh, unfortunately, there was the siege of Jerusalem. Now, you may say, well, that's not too good. Uh, and it wasn't. It was horrific. There was a siege against Jerusalem. The walls were torn down, and the Babylonians came forth and destroyed the nation and took captive the Jewish people. Have you felt like you're in a season or you've been in a place where you're in captivity? You feel like you're limited. You feel like you've been bound. You feel like you've been uh, hunkered down by demonic oppression and delays. However, in the same month of Tevet, there was a siege against Jerusalem. And the Jewish people, they were brought into captivity, into exile, into Babylon. However, we know that God used it and turned it for good. Can I get an amen? So whatever looks like bad, God has set you up for something divine. The Bible says, you intended evil against me, but God has used it for good. Someone say good. This is the month of Tov, of Tevet, of the goodness of God. Can I get an amen? I love this because uh, in, in this month of Tevet, this is, uh, this is a time where it's the winter, of course. And this is the time where uh, snow will begin to cover Israel. Now, let me tell you, I believe this stands for the prophetic purifying nature of the Holy Ghost. God is about to cover us with the blanket of the Holy Ghost. God is about to cover us with the goodness of God. And this whole season, December, January, February, hear me now, this whole winter season, God's going to cover you with the abode of His presence. The goodness of God will cover you. Can I get an amen? God's bringing you into the palace, and He's turning all evil, wickedness, into good. I love the quote from Martin Luther King Jr. 
Darkness cannot drive out darkness. Only light can do that. Hate cannot drive out hate. Only love can do that. This is a season where light overcomes darkness. Hanukkah. This month, Tevet, December, is the month where good will overcome evil. God's about to do something great in your life. Something wonderful is going to happen in this Christmas season. Can I get an amen? I love this passage, Psalm 31, verse 19. How great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you. Psalm 31, 19. How great, in the words of Tigger, how great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you, which you have bestowed before the sons of men on those who take refuge in you. How great is God's goodness. If you fear God, only good things are about to take place. Can I get an amen? And listen. The Bible says rejoice in all circumstances. I, I love this passage here, Psalm 27, 13. I believe that I shall see the goodness of God in the land of the living. I will see the goodness of God. Of your goodness, O oh God, all my life you have been faithful. All my life you have been so, so good. With every breath that I am able, I will sing of your goodness, O oh God. Your goodness is running after. Come on, the Bible says Psalm 23. Surely goodness and mercy will follow me all the days of my life. Goodness is chasing you, friends. Goodness is coming after you. Goodness is running towards you. You are a target of the blessings of God. I love this, Psalm 27, 13. I believe I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Can I get an amen? In this month of December, you're about to see the goodness of God. You're about to see the glory of God. You're about to see how good God actually is. As the snow in the Tevet season and month, as the snow covers, the whole blanket, God's about to blanket you with another realm of his goodness and his glory. Can I get an amen? So some say Tov. I love it. In the beginning, Genesis, God said it was good. As God created, he said it was good. Can I get an amen? Are you ready to create something good with God? Are you ready for the Lord to create something good on the inside of you? And I love it. In the book of Genesis, as he creates Adam, man, human, uh, humankind, human species, as he creates Adam in his goodness likeness, he says it was very good. On the Sabbath, excuse me, on the Sabbath, the Lord says it was very good. Are you ready for the very good anointing? Are you ready for the very good realm? You're going to go from good to very good. You're going to go from good to great, to tov, tova. Tevet, December is a month where God and His goodness is about to cover you. Can I get an amen? I feel the Holy Ghost. How about you, church? Listen, I want to give you seven prophetic points of what you can expect God to do in this month of December. Now, I know many of you are writing notes. Thank God for our team, Alana, Prophet Ivana, Amanda. I know many of you are, are writing notes here, but I want you to write this. I'm giving you seven prophetic points that you can expect God to do in your life in this month of December. Are you ready? Come on, somebody. All right, number one. The goodness of God will come in your health and your physical body and your immune system. I just heard just now from June here, that uh, Marcus Lamb of Daystar just passed away. The devil is a liar, church, let me tell you. And allegedly he passed away from COVID-19. And of course, allegedly there's a new variant coming out of South Africa. I mean, my goodness, last year it was a Chinese virus. This year it's an African virus. I mean, no, the greatest virus and the greatest disease is fake news and the lying spirits of these evil elitists. The Lord rebuke you. But uh, I just heard this morning, right before I came on, that Marcus Lamb of Daystar just passed away from COVID-19. Let me tell you, number one, in this month of December, I declare and decree the goodness of God will come into your health, your body, and your immune system. Your body is healthy. Get ready for His goodness to come into your health.
Number two, get ready for the goodness of God to come into your relationships, friendships, networks, circles, and appointments. The goodness of God to come into your relationships, friendships, networks, circles, and appointments. I know there's a lot of shaking. There's a lot of exposure. There's a lot of shifting going on. Sifting and shifting going on right now. People are leaving. People are coming. New people are rising up. People are falling. There's things going on right now. But I declare the goodness of God. It's going to be good. It's going to be good. God's doing something good in your relationships. Can I get an amen? In your friendships. You thought you lost somebody, but somebody better's coming. You felt like you lost the best, but something bester is coming. I said you're going to go from best to bestest to best to bestest and to the bestest to the bester. It's going to get better and better from here. Number three, I declare that the goodness of God is coming into your financial circumstances and situations. Let me tell you, church, Isaac sowed in a time of famine, and he reaped a hundredfold. Do you think he reaped instantly? Do you think he reaped in one season? He reaped a hundredfold. And let me tell you, the hundredfold reaping is coming. There's the grim reaper, and there's the good reaper. You are the good reaper. You're about to reap heavy revy in the Holy Ghost. Goodness in your financial circumstances and situations. In this Christmas, Hanukkah, Kwanzaa, in this December, Tevet, end of the year season. In the name of Jesus. Number four. The goodness of God is coming into your family, your children, your marriage, and the siblings and generations to come. The goodness of God is coming to your family. Listen, prodigals are coming home. God's doing something supernatural in the family unit. His goodness is about to overcome into your family. Can I get any man? Your family will not only be saved, but they will serve the Lord. So in this month of Tevet, December, believe, expect for something good and great to happen in your family. I believe I am on number five. Expect goodness in your mind. Sound mind, thoughts, thinking habits, patterns psychologically in the psyche in your brain god is healing people from trauma from fear god is delivering people from stress and demonic uh demonic oppression in this month of tevet tov god is about to release his goodness on your mind can i get an amen innovative ways of thinking new ways ideas creativity I know many of you, you've been stressed, you're feeling stretched, but God is releasing an anointing on your mind so you can think with the mind of Christ. So I'm going to say, His goodness is coming upon my mind. Can I get an amen? Praise the Lord. Number six, expect the goodness of God to come into the weather patterns. Okay? Listen, we need to speak to the skies. We need to speak to the weather Okay, I know there's been unusual weather even last week, Thanksgiving week in Southern California. There were fires taking place because it was so unusually hot and dry. And of course, the East Coast, very unusual patterns. Is this a setup? Is this the end times? Is this global warming? Is this climate change? Or is this Democrats and elitists and Soros somehow controlling the weather? Who knows? <laughs> it's all the above, possibly. However, when you speak the goodness of God and the weather patterns, last week I, I went hunting for ducks and there were no ducks because it's so hot and the ducks come out in the cold, cold weather. I was planning a trip to go to Louisiana, first time to go hunting. Louisiana is the duck hunting capital of America. But our friends in Louisiana said there's no ducks in Louisiana right now because it's not cold enough. There's strange, unusual things happening with the weather patterns, and many times that is a sign of, of what's taking place in the spiritual and in the supernatural. But let me tell you, we need to speak the goodness of God in the weather patterns. Can I get an amen? And number seven, expect His goodness to come into every sphere of influence. Your sphere of influence and everything connected to you will prosper. God is expanding. God is increasing. God is stretching to the left, the right, the north, east, south, and west. He is expanding your sphere of influence. 
Whatever's connected to you will prosper. Everything that you touch will be blessed. Everything under your care will succeed. I decree that over your life in the name of Jesus. This month of Tevet is a time where you'll see the goodness of God overtake you. Can I get an amen? Do you receive the seven prophetic declarations over your life? Some say good. Hallelujah. I love the passage. Joseph said, you intended to harm me or what you intended for evil against me. God used it for good. I love the scripture in the book of Romans. He is doing everything for the good of those who love him, who have been called by his name. Are you called? Are you called unto the Lord? He's turning everything around for your good. Whatever's going on right now, for your good. Can I get an amen? My goodness. What about someone say tov? I will see the goodness, the tov of the Lord, the goodness of God in the land of the living. That's what God's got to do this month in the month of December. If you receive it, say amen. Hallelujah. So my three main prophetic points as I bring this to a close, and before I pray with you, are you with me, church? Teams and hearts and likes, if you're blessed and if you're receiving for this prophetic word, hallelujah. In this time, in this Tevet month, here are three things for you to expect and to look out for. Number one, goodness. He's turning all the bad and evil into good and great. The goodness of God is coming over you. His goodness is going to wash over you. It's going to cover you in every area of your life. Can I get an amen? Number two, <clears throat> the glory of God is going to cover this place, this nation, His glory. The glory of God is about to come forth. And I believe, I mean, what did Moses say? God, show me your glory. And God said, my goodness will pass before you. Ooh, can I get an amen? As Moses cried out to the Lord, show me your glory, Jehovah. Show me the kavad. Show me the weightiness the excellency, the heavy expression, the highest revelation of who you are. And God said, my goodness will pass before you. Can I get an amen? Your, his goodness is going to come over your life, which is the glory of God. Amen. Some say glory. And number three, gifts are being released to you, church. Gifts. Some say gifts. I know it's Christmas season. It's Hanukkah season. The Bible says, Every good and perfect gift is from above. In this Christmas season, God's going to bless you. God's going to surprise you. In this Tevet's December Christmas Hanukkah season, God's going to bless you. God's going to surprise you. He's going to give you the desires of your heart. He's going to give you gifts. He's going to bless you. He's going to shock, surprise you. Amen. Get ready to receive gifts from the Lord, from the Holy Ghost. Are you ready? Are you expectant? Hallelujah. Listen, I want to pray with you, church. If you enjoyed this broadcast, and if you're filled with faith and expectation, and if you agree by the Spirit of the Lord, I want you to say amen and give us some hearts and likes. Amen, hallelujah. Listen, right now, today is actually uh, Giving Tuesday. And uh, today, I want to open up a time for you to sow into our ministry. Let me tell you. 2022 is going to be an incredible, phenomenal year. I'm so excited for what God's about to do. And uh, this year has been incredible as well. But 2022 is going to be a phenomenal year. We have crusades set up in Africa, Tijuana, Mexico. We have tent revivals set up all across America with the Route 66 revival. We have different conferences we've planned in Southern California and Hawaii. And... Uh, Churches we're going to be planting, Lord willing, Florida and Houston, Texas. Many great things. And of course, we want to reach the world through the reach of media and social media. So many, many wonderful things are coming forth. But today, I want to invite you to sow and to donate to this wonderful work of God, to Ben Lim Ministries. Have you been blessed by tuning in? Have you been blessed even tuning in today and hearing... Uh, these words, hearing, receiving this prophetic word 
of the month and his prophetic word for Tov and Tevet and December. Some say amen. Some would say Tevet. Some great's going to happen. And God is going to bring the Esthers into the palace in this season. Can I get an amen? So on this Giving Tuesday, I want to welcome you. Open up your hearts. And, uh, you know, give sparingly. Give generously unto the Lord. And uh, pray with me that the Lord will continue to bless this ministry. You know, Ben Lim Ministries is really not about me. Ben Lim, it's not about me. It's really about the, the work of miracles and the message of the gospel going to the nations. Amen. I'm so excited for every single one of you that is uh, partnering with us, sowing, donating today on Giving Tuesday. I want to say thank you in advance. And I love you and I'm praying for you. And uh, I'm so expectant for what God's going to do in this month. Can I get an amen? Listen, I want to pray for you, church. Lift up your hand wherever you're watching from. Lord, I thank you for every single friend, supporter, partner that's watching right now. In this month of December, in the month of Tibet, I thank you you're turning things into good and great. And their health, their wealth, their relationships, their sphere of influence, the weather patterns, their family, their mind, their, uh, you know, their, their innovation, their creativity. Things are increasing. And Lord, I thank you for the goodness of God, for the grace of God. It's going to cover us and blanket us like snow. This is a time, the winter season, where there's heavy rain and there's snow. God's about to release heavy blessings, gifts from above onto your bosom, into your life, in the name of Jesus. Can I get an amen? Hallelujah. Sora baba basa tarabroska bata. Ora baba shata raba basu karabata. Jesus. Ora baba baba sa rabo soto raba baba. Even as we transition into December and Tibet, you will see His goodness, His glory, and you will receive the gifts of the Holy Spirit. Can I get an amen? Praise God. Why well, I love you, people of God. Make sure you sign up for the webinar on December 20th. And thank you for watching, being a friend, and uh, for showing your partnership with us today, even today on Giving Tuesday. Amen. God bless you. Happy Tibet. Happy December. And I'll see you soon.